Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. Great article here from Eli Blumenthal over at CNET. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys could check it out. So this one is a bit of a head scratcher. I got to be very honest here. So the Go 5G Next is still the most expensive plan that you can obtain at T-Mobile. And it is still the most expensive plan option across the entire industry. So T-Mobile is now trying to put additional value into the plan in hopes that you may switch to it. So T-Mobile's Go 5G Next is giving discounts on connected tablets, laptops, watches. So this is something that could have easily been implemented across all of the plan options, the essentials, the Go 5G Plus, and of course the Go 5G Next, but they're not doing that. So T-Mobile is making it easier to add additional devices, but you'll need to be on its priciest plan. So you get a discount, right? So say you pay, what is it, 12 bucks now for to add a watch line. Say you pay that on a lower end plan, right? On the Go 5G Plus as an example. If you move up to the Go 5G Next and you get this discount, it, it, it ends up being around the same. So you're not really saving anything going to the Go 5G next, but you're paying T-Mobile more. So this plan, it, it's just not going to work. They're not going to get a huge percentage of customers to flock to this plan. They're going to try for a little bit longer and then they're just going to let it sit, right? They're going to add some value here and there, but it's just not going to be the, the main plan that people select. It's going to be the Go 5G+. Plus. So T-Mobile is sweetening its offer for those on its prices Go 5G Next plans, introducing on Wednesday a bevy, new, uh, a bevy of new features aimed largely at connected devices. Among the most notable, adding a cellular connected watch, tablets, or laptop would now cost just $5 per device, while the carrier says it will cover the difference between a Wi-Fi-only version of a device and a cellular model. I guess that's... That's a bit of an additional value that you wouldn't get on another plan. So starting October 17th, T-Mobile says it will cover up to $200 off the, off the difference between cellular and Wi-Fi versions, and it will extend the offer to cellular-enabled laptops as well. For reference, the new Apple Watch Series 10 starts at $399 for the Wi-Fi-only model and $499 for the cellular option, while a Wi-Fi-only iPad Pro starts at $999 and the 5G-enabled option starts at $1199. For the tablets and watches, you will need to buy them directly from T-Mobile to get the savings and then stay with the carrier for 24 months. Again, the whole unlocking policy is just not going to work with that, but that's a topic for another video. For laptops, the carrier will allow you to purchase a T-Mobile certified Windows laptop from any retailer. And then after you add it to your plan, fill out a form for a rebate within 30 days. So again, it's, it's another rebate, which is it's an additional has hassle. So I don't know who's really going to go for that. You need to add the laptop to a Go 5G Next for the $5 first within 30 days of purchasing the computer, but you don't need to keep it on the 5G Next for the full two years to keep the rebate and can cancel and re-add it as needed. Again, just, just an additional hurdle for the customer and it just makes it more confusing. Once submitted, you should get a $200 prepaid MasterCard within eight, eight to 12 weeks. Again, you have to wait eight to 12 weeks to get it. Examples of compatible devices include a variety of laptops from Dell, Lenovo, and HP, as well as Microsoft's newest Surface Pro with 5G. So just to combat that, to give you guys some additional tips, I would just rather use the 50 gig hotspot on the laptop versus having to pay additionally to have it connected to the cellular network. That's just me just throwing you guys a tip. And then you, you, can, you can read the rest for yourselves. Um, see, you will get 30 gigs of, of high-speed data each month for the connected device, and then it drops to 600 kilobytes. Again, you might as well just use your hotspot. All right? There's probably a good amount of you out there that, that have hotspot feature, that have the hotspot feature, and you don't nearly use the entire 50 gigs or whatever plan you're on. So I'd make sure that you have a good amount of hotspot data and just use that if you're out and about. And if you're at home, just use Wi-Fi. Right, I wouldn't pay that additional. So for me, in my book, this is a dud. I, I, I can't recommend this plan to anybody, even with this discount. It's just not worth it, right? The Go 5G Plus, like I said, you pay 12 bucks. If you drop it to five, 
plus the additional uh, amount that you, you're going to pay to increase to the Go 5G next, it's just not worth it. Even if you upgrade every year, it's not worth it. I upgrade every year on the Go 5G Plus. I still have the jump. I can do that every year at 50% paid off. So for me, moving to the Go 5G next adds no additional value to the plan. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.